Section 5.3, Logarithmic Functions and Their Graphs. To talk about logarithms, we want to first look back at exponentials. We have the exponential function f of x equals 2 to the x. We know that in this case our input is x, our output is f of x, and 2 is the base of the exponent. Well, if we wanted to, we could fill in a table with some values. We know that if x is negative 1, that means 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 over 2, so f of x would be 1 over 2. If x is 0, that's 2 to the 0, which is 1, so f of x is 1. If x is 1, we get 2, x is 2, we get 4, if x is 3, we get 8. The reason we filled in those tables is because now we're going to look at logarithms. What logarithms do is they undo an exponential function. So let's look at g of x equals log base 2 of x. And here, again, the rule of 2 is the base. And there's a reason why we see the word base in both of these versions, both as an exponential, we have base 2, and as a logarithm, we have base 2. The reason is because log base 2 is telling us that we are doing the inverse function for the exponential that's base 2. Remember, an inverse undoes an operation. So if the forward process with the exponent, when we plug in negative 1, we get 1 half, then the inverse reverses those two things. So if we plug in 1 half, we get negative 1. This means log base 2 of 1 half is negative 1, and the reason is because 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. If we plug in 1, we get 0. And that means that log base 2 of 1 is 0, because 2 to the 0 is 1. If we plug in 2, we get 1. If we plug in 4, we get 2. If we plug in 8, we get 3. So log base 2 of 2 is 1. Log base 2 of 4 is 2. And log base 2 of 8 is 3. The reason we see all these log base 2 of 1 half equals negative 1 is because, again, 2 to negative 1 is 1 half. Then we have 2 to the 0, which is 1. 2 to the 1, which is 2. 2 to the 2, which is 4. And 2 to the 3, which is 8. So the base of the log is also the base of our exponent. What was originally our exponent in the exponential version, so what was originally our input, becomes the output in our log. And what was originally the output in our exponential is the input for the log. What this whole process should show you is this relationship right here, and you need to have this in your notes. That log base b of a equals c is equivalent to b to the c equals a. So if I'm trying to solve log base 2 of 8 for x, I want to write it in its equivalent exponential. So because we have log base 2, that's the base of the exponent, x becomes my input, which is the exponential, I'm saying 2 to the x equals 8. I know then that x equals 3. Log base 2 of 8 equals 3. You see b is the base, c is the exponent, and a is the answer to our exponential function. If this makes sense, we can go on to the example. If not, review this video.